continuing on our exploration of historic decks that may or may not port successfully to explore, we have a kind of meme dream here in Feather Redeemed Hinata Dawn Crowned Torrential Gear Hulk paired with Magma Opus and Sublime Epiphany. So Feather Redeemed works the way we want it to with Torrential Gear Hulk and Magma Opus. So basically, if you Gear Hulk back Magma Opus and you target Feather with either a tap or a deal one, the Magma Opus ends up back in your hand at the end of the sequence. Same thing with Sublime Epiphany, copying like our Gear Hulk. If we have Feather out, we'll get to return the Sublime Epiphany back to our hand. Uh, Hinata also makes Sublime Epiphany and Magma Opus really cheap. And then we've got some controlling elements and some card advantage here at the bottom end of our deck to uh, try and find our stuff. So let's go ahead and pop on into some games with this and see how it goes. Someone said, rip my mythics. There's only eight mythics here, chat. And look, I even did you the courtesy of putting four uncommons and four commons here at the bottom curve of our deck. Stack's so affordable, chat. I could have put four more rares and mythics in here if I wanted to, but I chose not to. Because I am I am a man of the people. So I elected to put some put some peasant cards in here. There's basic lands too. Deck's basically free. There's mythics in the man. Okay, that's fair. I forgot about the mythics in the mana base. Listen, chat, magic's a deep, dark hole. Even our mana base has mythics in it these days. You know, the, do the lands even count, chat? You should just own all of the lands. I don't think, I don't think the, I don't think the, uh, the mana base ones count. It should, it should just be a given that you should have all the rare lands, okay? Well, you see, the the people who have wild card burns, bur wild cards burned, have poor impulse control. They don't, they don't make it all the way to the wrap up at the end of the video before deciding to craft a deck. Feel called out. This Hinata is really sweet. It would be a damn shame if an agent of treachery were to come into play and steal it from us. I did, uh, Patches. We finished playing Pokemon Unite last night, and there was an email in my thing. I don't know if this block is right. They could have just wanted the treasure token. Hi, Jeff. This is Twizzerg for the future. Can you put the wild card crafting bird at the start of the video rather than after the first game? Hello. Oh, shit. You want to see a trick? Oh, 
long, friends. They have a family? How do I even know it's their own family, chat? How do I know they didn't steal that family from someone else with an agent of treachery? I have no guilt here. None. Zero. This is the part where they play a second creativity. Rip. You've been deeply hurt by Agent. Who has it? could definitely be going worse, Jim. If that ain't if that ain't the motto of 2022, Chad, I don't I don't know what is really. Ooh, baby, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. Right, so I only get to do two of these modes, but that's that's fine. We get to pick my Hanada back up and make a second gear hulk. All right, five counter spells in. Deafening Clarion definitely comes out. Well, I can only do two there because Hanada makes you pay one one more for each target, and they had the Hanada. So every, every mode on here made me pay one more. Hinata, Hinata stacks. This, this not only makes your things cheaper, it makes theirs more expensive. Hey, Wordsmith, thanks for the 39 months. Welcome back. This is probably in a breed out matchup, huh? Let me leave one in. Hinata is good against creativity. Yeah. It means it means they have to pay one more for each target.
So we played this tap so that way we could feather or iteration on two. All right, we'll lead feather here so that way if they use a removal spell on this, we can add on an next turn. And I'm not blocking in case they have a strangle. Got me. This could be a doom scar. It's fine, it's sad, but it is. It is. Exile. I think. I think I'm just passing here, right? I think I think I want to hold up Mystic Dispute. Library Exile. Shields down for a turn here. Come on, opponent, cast the spell. Some of you currently feel bad for my opponent, but I would just like to remind you that they're playing Agent of Treachery and they deserve this. That game was truly sublime, chat. I always like it when a plan comes together in the first match. Always things things you love to see. It. Yeah, we have thoroughly asserted our dominance as the superior just guy deck. The Prismari command in the first game was just very chef's kiss. Lands are in this deck. 26. There's only 25 lands in this deck. That's probably wrong. 
Shrug. We should probably cut a spell for Iliant. Odd. Do we have any game against spirits? I'm gonna go out on a limb and suggest that my deck full of hand, hold on, hand, library, exile. My deck full of six and eight mana spells is probably not good into mono blue. <laughs> There's a strong possibility that my deck full of eight mana spells is not good to mono blue. Strong, strong possibility. Excuse me? What? That's cheating. One mana mana leak is cheating. Somebody please help, I need an adult. <laughs> help, please. Please, I have a family. Is this Karma catching up with us after the last game? This is, this is Karma, champ. Their deck's a little disturbing when you think about it. And library exile. Okay. Okay, we're cooking cooking with gas here. No rattle chains, one-time dealer? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face, Chet. It wasn't a rattle chains, Chad. It was so much worse for us. So much worse for us. Do I have sideboard cards for this matchup? Kinda. Kinda. Like a bigger Ragavan. Yeah. I'm sure this is going to resolve, chat. This is this is the spell that's going to resolve, says increasingly nervous man for the fourth time this game. Alright, I'm getting spell pierced then? Is that what's happening? Off to denial would have countered the gear hulk. It has to be something like spell pierce, right? Our sense reversal incoming. Okay. Is it is this about to happen? Uh oh. We're halfway there. Oh, ho, lizard on 
but chill, take my hands, we'll make it, I swear. I'm pretty sure they're allowed to file for compensation after missing that. Fairly, fairly confident not having it there means Arena is bugged. Oh my god, I didn't attack with the Gear Hulk. Mistakes from Ed. Hey, the one James, thank you for the over two years. Welcome back. I have an abrade in my graveyard. So if we get if we get a treasure token here, we can gear hulk abrade the phantom. But they, they did draw two cards after they failed to have it last turn. So they could have another geist snare here, because they, they they drew two cards. The fact that I missed attacking with this 5-6 is such a big deal. They could also have like a protection spell, but slip out the back. Oh god. Oh god, it did okay, it did it didn't matter that I missed my attack. It's, they did they did have interaction. I'm gonna cut Sublime Epiphany. What do I want to get rid of? I think it's the Gear Hulks, right? Because these could theoretically be cheap with Hinata in play. I think it depends on your deck, Jim. I think a deck like ours, where we like have a lot of interaction, you can generate pretty decent games on average, but I think there's definitely a lot of decks where it's like you just don't get to play a game against them and it's pretty dry. Your your deck your deck choice dictates a lot of how much player agency you have in a matchup like this. This is a this can be a very low player agency matchup for a lot of people. A lot of a lot of decks, I guess I should say. Yeah, two flash decks playing into each other has a lot of a lot of play and counterplay in a way that tends to be fun. I agree with that. I'd like to iterate. No second white here, feels pretty bad. I'm not taking the Opus even though I have Hinata because, uh, well, you know, counter spells. Hey, Zinc Main, thanks for the half a year. I really appreciate the support, welcome back. We're a control deck. We're not an all-in combo deck, sporadic. So a card, a card like that, that's card disadvantage, isn't something we're really interested in playing. We're not, we're not a, we're not a tempo deck, right? Like I don't, I don't want to trade cards for tempo. 
I'm gonna like one for one and generate card advantage and go long. Do you to run into the counter spell here? This might be a spell this game. Yeah, if you missed our first game this match, Jim, we locked our we locked our opponent out with Sublime Epiphany plus Feather. Or probably just said it they have another counter spell here. I mean, nothing here is good for us. Now, now if they draw with Sailor again, we'll go ahead and kill it. Yeah, it's worth noting too, while this Sonata sits in play, all their counter spells cost plus one mana as well, which is pretty good. Why does Sonata have flying? It's a spirit. Do I dispute or do I veto? I think I dispute because dispute's kind of drawing dead. Oh, you know what? I could dispute the Shacklegeist and veto the dive down. Yeah, that's the line. Let's make let's make sure the rattle change is going away first here. I think I'd rather they have a 3-2 Rattle Chains than the other card. The other card lets them tap my Hinata with any other spirit, which can let them get past. It's a Feather deck or a deck that happens to play Feather? Or a Jeskai Control deck that plays Feather. Speaking of spirits that don't fly... We really want Expressive Iteration or Magma Opus at this point. We're gonna hold lands in case we draw another Prismari command as well. Oh right, this thing's a 4-3. Imagine if they had Spell Queller. Well, um... Their deck would be different if it had Spell Queller, right? And... Library Exile... 
And I'm not going to play Hinata into a counter unless we pay three. We'll do this at the upkeep. You want to do it at upkeep in case they have a slip out the back. Okay, we're down on life, but the board's clean on turn 12, so... Seems good for the home team. Yeah, Queller will be here eventually, but, like, the opponent's archetype won't play Queller is my point, chat. There'll, there'll definitely be different decks that play Spell Queller, but the opponent's deck won't be among them. Larry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are gone. Lay your weary head to rest. Oof. We let, them, we let them get in a hit. I was right to attack there, but feels bad to get punished for it for sure. I mean, I netted, I netted life off of that attack, and I think I'm supposed to take the opportunity to net life. Not only are we only drawing lands, but we're not drawing any of our utility lands either, right? Like, I have a bunch of cycling lands. Oh, we were through two cycling lands already. Oh, well. Look at this incredibly stimulating and engaging gameplay. A big-brained battle between two intellectuals on the battlefield. We've had zero Magma Opus in 29 cards. Oh, I bottomed one, right? So technically we had one Magma Opus and 31 cards, I guess you could say. Okay, that's a good draw. It means uh, when we block here, we'll get to uh, kill it and it, it draws two discards too. They've drawn a lot of lands as well. I mean, I, let me, let me rephrase. I'm not, neither of us are really much outside of variance when it comes to how many lands we've drawn, but we've been unfortunate when it comes to drawing our good spells. So both players here have drawn lands proportionally to the number of cards they've seen in their deck. This is huge if this resolves. Honestly, either half of this resolving is huge. They save, they save their phantom, but we get to draw two discard. God bless America. My country, tis of thee. Sweet land of liberty, of the I sing. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, now we've drawn seventeen lands and thirty-three cards were thoroughly above average. <laughs> Do we have to hit the shackle geist? Uh, I don't think so. It is with the third the third land here is at least a utility land. That's true. Oh, God. A pretty frustrating game. A bad joke. Magic Arena could tell I was starting to have fun, so it needed to make sure it quashed that out real quick. No pun. Wouldn't want enjoyment to happen by mistake.
Wow. Good God. Guards appropriately rated in aggro decks. It sees it sees plenty of play and is fine. I think fine fine is an appropriate summary of its power level. Hey pizza, thanks for the 41 months. Welcome back. I appreciate it. Going on, Ginger. Thanks for the quarter of a year. Yes, every time there is a school shooting, there is always a myriad of copycats immediately afterwards that call in false, uh, false things. I would tell you that's not typical, but it is very, very typical. America has a gun problem, chat. Do any midget merit for two damage treasure ramp? If I had a land, I would have done two damage treasure to ramp, but I, I didn't have a fifth land. So, no, I don't think that, I don't think that's very good. I meant the turn before. I have no idea what I did the turn before. Oh, you meant the turn I played Feather? No, I wanted the blocker in play. There's not going to be a lot of garbage time here, Chip. Yeah, there are a couple ways to eat the recess. I could have gained 10. I think I'd just rather hold up Sublime. Not, I'm not sure that it really matters one way or another.
Crypto. I know the way that game just played out. I think Epiphany's actually kind of bad here, right? And Prismari Command's a little on the clunky side. What do we, what do we, what do we think of this? I don't think I want Dispute. Yeah, this, this deck turns a corner fast for sure. <laughs> turns out six mana put 10 power into play is good. Who'd have, who'd have thunk it? No game three. Nah, I think they're going to be pretty creature based for the entirety of this set. If if they have more blue cards, I could see Mystic Dispute being okay, but it seems like this matchup's going to be about can I kill their things that play to the board? And Vito, Vito doesn't do that. You have downgraded my Gear Hulk to a 5 6. I take 4 down to 12 here. I think if we draw the land naturally, I'm gonna choose to hold up a braid. Just try and keep my life total high here. They have another Reckless Storm Seeker. This is not good for me. They do not. Another piece of two mana removal. If they tap off of the lantern again, we could technically magma opus them, but I kind of don't expect them to do that at this point. We also could just be dead to direct burn at this point as well. We need to draw one of our three Clarions. Some more looks. And we no longer have enough mana to Iteration and Clarion, so we are done. It's not bad, it's a close game considering we were on the draw and they had a hate card. And if they hadn't had the artifact, the Gear Hulk would have pulled us back in. For the follow, Thomas. Good afternoon. Oh, Mr. Pop Dart. I missed yours. Is everybody freaking out? Playing some magic for folks that are new. My name is Jeff Oakland. I stream full time here on Twitch. We do Magic the Gathering, Pokemon Unite, and a variety of other games. After we play a little bit more Explorer, probably another hour or so, we're going to be checking out Marvel Snap, the new Marvel IP digital card game from Ben Brode and Co. over at Second Dinner their first game since they split off from uh, Blizzard. 
like Pokemon Snap. It is not like Pokemon Snap. Yeah, I, uh, Marvel Snap stole about two hours of sleep from me last night when I intended to go to bed early, and then I played another half hour this morning. Yeah, he was one of the original, uh, I think he was a producer? He was something on the original draft of Hearthstone. I don't want to say the title wrong. But yeah, so I'm one of the, one of the original people that put together stuff for Hearthstone. this actually because then if I draw an untapped land naturally we can just Sonata next turn and then when we miss we can go ahead and do this maybe I'm not supposed to discard the Opus because of Hinata in hand because Opus is cheaper with Hinata Backup Clarion sounds great. Even if they don't reflood the board after we play the first, it can provide lifelink for our creatures. I'm slightly disappointed I won't be catching Hulk at the beach or something. So the closed beta that's going on right now is Android only. It will soon be expanded to iOS, and then when they have a full release, it will also be on PC. So I'll be I'll be playing using the blue stack simulator today. Like I play Pokemon Unite on. Chat, we're a full-time mobile game stream, chat. We play Pokemon Unite and Magic Arena, two mobile games. Yeah, yeah, your account your account should be cross-platform. Cross cross-platform cross progress, all that jazz. Very nice, very nice. All right, we've got Feather, we've got Opus, that's the lock. What's the next variety game gonna be? Uh, I have a donation to try one of the Metal Gear Solid games. But I'm also not exactly sure when we're going to be starting that. Because if, if Snap is good, I want to work that into my schedule on the regular for a little bit. Thanks for the follows, Harmless and Tomask. They could have uh, Mystic Dispute here. I literally played Standard this morning, Logan, and every other day this week. As always, if you miss the stream live, there's videos on the YouTube channel. Oh, they can't dispute because of Hinata. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. They can't dispute because of Hinata, chat. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, I could have abraded this. That's fine. That's fine. Oh. Oh, I needed to do that. I needed to do that during... um. I needed to do that during the main phase, so that way I got it back. I needed to do that second main. Chad, it's, it's fine, Chad. It's fine. Not a big deal. Yeah, yeah, Feather plus Sonata is sweet. We're playing Sublime Epiphany in here too for mid-ranging control decks. I boarded it out there against their tempo deck, but our first our first match we won with this deck, we uh 
We locked them out with Feather, er, feather Sublime Epiphany. <laughs> uh, I'm actually not playing Reckless Rage, so we don't have that many creatures. We're more, we're more of a control deck featuring Feather than anything. Um, You know, I think I actually want to back up Pinata here. In case the first gets countered or killed. And we're not making a treasure with this because Sonata is going to make it cheap. Seriously? game. Alright, one of these Sonatas is gonna gonna go places and do things, Chan. I can feel it. Grixis. <laughs> I don't need respect. <laughs> Just don't be pleasure doing this. Find you, and you'll lose everything. Ooh. Oh, you'll suffer. I guess you do this now while they're tapped out, right? Oh, they were trying to fetal push, but they couldn't because it cost two. That's My hilarious. Will be cruel and painful. Because the the shark technically generated revolt because it was a zero zero that died. Yeah, we were hoping to draw another opus or a sublime epiphany there. It's fine. Good enough. Good enough. So. I don't really know how to sideboard here because, like, uh, the presence of Obdixilis implies that they could be more creature-based, but, like, Shark Typhoon is controlling, right? We did we did drag your home shake, Opus. I agree. God, cutting the abrades will board in some disputes. I think, I think I'm gonna err on the side of trimming the abrades, and we'll have, we'll have Clarions to clean up if we need them. The classic basic island feather redeemed opener here. It's just good deck building, champ. Yeah, I think bigger mid range is probably a good take as to what archetype they could be. Do I want to play this to hold up dispute? 
If I play this and spike a land, I could feather next turn. But I, I probably don't want to feather next turn anyways, so... Let's just hold it to speed up in case there's something like an Arset here. I think this is definitely a discard opus angle. lands. Scale of one to dead. Where's Feather at here? Dead side of the scale. Got it. I guess tapping out for Feather here instead of holding up Epiphany is bad into a, like, 5-mana Planeswalker here. Federation is fine. A-OK -okay with that one. Shark is going the distance. It's going full speed. Don't dispute me, Daddy. Don't do it. Alright, definitely a bigger deck we do not want Clarion for. I have no idea what uh, Omnixilis is doing in their deck. Watch this. Watch us get like Legion War boss this game. Daddy was very angry, Chet. I did not want to, did not want to stay and make him, make him more mad. He's doing demon stuff. You know, the demon stuff with the, with the things that the, the demons do. Sack a shark token hunter for it. Yep. I mean, you're not wrong. Noise, noise, great turn three play. You ever played the popular children's board game, Don't Wake Daddy? Yeah, I grew up in a household with boomer parents. We played that. The first Sonata definitely just gets run out, right? And then next turn, we can play fifth land, cast Feather whilst holding up Veto. This probably just eats a Heartless Act or something. Wow, we un they untap. That's good for us. Them, them not spending any mana in the first three turns is uh, really good from a tempo perspective for us. Uh, I don't know 
that I, I agree with that, Pseudonym. Monopoly is an incredibly high variance game that was, uh... Monopoly is an incredibly high variance game that was designed to kind of make fun of capitalism and point out the fact that you don't have control over a lot of your outcomes. I feel you, Chris. It's because there aren't any bootstraps in Monopoly. <laughs> All right, we just need to draw a magma opus or an epiphany chip. Uh, that's fine, right? I have another Hanada. Them casting five mana removal spells on my four mana creature feels pretty good. Was it good for you, opponent? It was good for me. <laughs> Big bully energy, chat. Big bully energy. I'm the bad man. Nickel Bolas is always the good guy, Chet. Which is strange considering his Vorthos, but prom trust me when I tell you that Nickel Bolas is always the good guy when it comes to what kind of magic deck he's played in. Chat, I have a note here in one of my Discord servers from one of my buddies that apparently FaZe Clan is going bankrupt. Which for people that aren't familiar, they're an esports slash influencer organization that tried to scam a lot of people with crypto bullshit over the years, so really what I all I'm saying is really couldn't have happened to nicer people. Esports org with crypto. Well, so almost every esports org has crypto sponsors at this point, but FaZe Clan was like directly involved with it, not just taking money from people directly involved with it, which I think it's all bad. In fact, part of the reason why when F2K, um, when F2K uh, ceased to exist. I didn't seek to sign on with a new esports organization, even though they would pay me money, is because they're basically all in bed with crypto at this point. And I don't, I don't want their money bad enough to get into bed with crypto.
Gets these. Have I had offers? Yeah, I, 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 I turned down money from a crypto company once per month, chat. In fact, uh, don't, don't tell Christy, but I might have told a company that promised me a $5,000 minimum to fuck off last month. We'll, we'll keep that between you and me, okay? I'll watch the VOD, don't worry. <laughs> Telling Bob, oh no. You wish to know my secrets? Very well. Man, are we dead? A beam. Yeah, chat. Most people that seek to advertise with with creators, they just like send you a generic boilerplate email saying they like your content with literally never having watched any of it at all. It's very, very, very common. There's Mari commands probably bad here. Clarion's pretty good at cleaning out the uh, Kiki Jiki and friends. Let's try, let's try this. I think I like Soul Guide Lantern to deal with Croxa. It also hurts this and a can trips at worst. We're really not going to get any beansy. Everybody that wanted to try Strike Force tried Strike Force during the last promo. So, if you want to invite non Hoaglandian peoples into it, if you think we need more people to like fill out the raids or whatever, go for it. But we're we're thoroughly tapped here. Yeah, yeah, it's it's literally multiple times a month if you're making content. I had to I had to unfollow a bunch of creators because they started taking money from crypto. It's real, real disappointing. I don't know. I guess you got to eat, but. <sighs> Running a whole, whole scamming your audience to eat. It feels, feels like not good. Waiting, waiting, do, 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 Chat, do you see how long we're waiting for our opponent to sideboard? We could play almost an entire game of Marvel Snap while waiting for this person to finish sideboarding. <laughs> you ain't wrong, see, do I? You ain't, you ain't wrong. Yeah, that's fine, BZ. Oh, you know what? I probably should have taken the untapped land and just cycled this Soul Guide Lantern. Mm. 
No, there's no there's no affiliate links for Snap or anything like that yet. The the Snap content this afternoon is not sponsored. They they gave me an invite to the beta, but that is that is all they did for me. I think the the game seems genuinely good, and I think it has a good potential for for future for content stuff. We'll be, we'll be playing it because I liked it, and I think there's a chance to grow my content in that direction. Nah, Lakar, you can't you can't cash in on stuff like that. And oh well, and basi basically every sponsor clause has a they'll back out and not pay you for anything for lots of different things. Can you deny an unban request? Yeah, probably. Let me look at it. I would I would like a, I would like a laugh. Is there a good one? Actually, actually don't have the mod panel open, so I haven't looked at a little bit. That's fine. I didn't want to cast my spells anyways. <laughs> it was someone who got banned calling me a crybaby, which is funny when you think about it because they're the one that's crying in my mentions because they got banned. Yeah, th this matchup seems abysmal. All right, I this matchup doesn't seem good, but it's definitely worse when we don't have spells. So <laughs> we'll, we'll move along with our lives. Let's try and get like one or two more good matches in with this, then we'll flip over to try it out some snap. I'm interested to see what people think of it. Yeah, a lot of people have like some borderline stuff alert. So I, I've talked about this before, but if someone says something kind of borderline, I'll tap the ban button instead of timing them out. And then you see what the reaction is like when they request an unban and how someone reacts to being banned and how they request their unban tells you a lot about the type of person and how they're going to be in your community. So if someone has a very like reaction like that, um, it's like, oh, this was a good choice. Like I was borderline here and you could you confirm that like you're a good person to not have here. I didn't mean to say hello there. I was just clicking randomly like I do. Like I do. Yeah, I, I agree. I feel I'm, if I'm being completely honest, after playing two and a half hours of Snap, I think there's a chance that you have more meaningful choices in the average game of Snap than you do in some entire matches of Magic. Uh, what am I doing here? I think I might be Prismari commanding. So our hand kind of sucks, right? I kind of want to get like a treasure and draw draw a discard. Yes, this Angel's deck is very good against red base removal. A lot of lot of thick lads. You could you could say the Angel's deck makes the rockin' world go round, chat.
This costs six to activate, right? Yeah, okay. Alright, we have two main deck Clarions. Larry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are gone. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. Game one, Dovin's Veto! Holy fuck, chat! Holy fuck! Good God, man. Just. <laughs> oh, Sometimes they want it more than you do. Yes, that is a game one Dovin's veto in their collected company deck. In their collected company deck. <laughs> Oof. Thanks for the prime ender. Supreme Verdict went hopefully not for a while, he says, knowing that it's coming this summer. I 100% against all crypto. Yes, yes. Cryptocurrency is a is a solution looking for a problem to solve. It does not meaningfully improve or change anything that anyone experiences while introducing a number of complexities and issues. Everything you can accomplish with cryptocurrency, you can also accomplish with other already existing systems. doing this. A new alchemy spoiler start. My alchemy spoiler is on the 30th. I do not know when other spoilers will be happening. How many counter spells do you think are in their hands? Three, four. Oh, 
No, I have I have my spoiler card already. true i heard i heard cryptocurrency described as a speed run in teaching people why our current banking regulations exist so for in terms of educational purposes it does have some practical uses all right we have a flying blocker here he says before it disappears Now they could have a veto here. Yeah, looks like they have a veto. We're dead. I guess we, we could draw a Clarion if they don't have a counter spell. Oh, there's no way they're playing Collected Company, right? Let's take it back. They have Tefri too. All right, Chad. I'm gonna be honest. I'm pretty over playing Magic for the day, so I'm gonna play. I'll play some Snap. This deck. This deck seems like it's awful against red black, and it seems like it's awful against people casting cheap counter spells. And I think a lot of Explorer probably falls into one of those two categories, meaning this deck's probably a rancid choice, but we did at least get to do something. We did at least get to pop off at least once or twice, so we had that going for us, I suppose.